Many entitled Karens seem to think they can't be arrested. So what happens when Karens take it a step too far and get arrested by cops? You take these goddamn cops off on me! No! These are the most satisfying arrests of entitled Karens in body cam history. Starting out with when cops were called to an apartment building to deal with a noise complaint. You need to get away from the house. Yeah, I don't like you either, so as long as we're clear. I am a, a nurse, and I did 12 You're years an of it, yeah. and you need to get off. And I told you, this is the law building. Get outside of my building now. The woman is clearly intoxicated and completely unaware of what's going on. Remember, she's the one that called the cops to her building, but it seems she's completely forgotten exactly why she did that and is now taking offense to the police's presence in her building. You're a lieutenant? No, I'm not a lieutenant. So get down! Because I'm not a lieutenant anymore. I said get down! I dare you to touch me. That would be great. Oh, that will never happen. Who called? You were drunk. I'm telling you to get call? out of my building. Well, what's going on? Because I'm sick. I need to go to the hospital. What's wrong? And that, why, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? We're not even speaking anything. Tell him to get out. Bye. 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 You want to tell us why you called? The cops are clearly not phased by the woman whatsoever, and are just there to do their jobs. They were called by the woman and want to get to the bottom of why. If they can determine that it was done maliciously with no good reason, they can charge her for wasting police resources. But with the way things are going, she's about to catch a disorderly conduct case as well. You don't ever come around my door. How about this? Here. Don't call us and I won't come back here. I will have you disbarred. Okay. Like, Have me this far. Please do it. I was a nurse for over many years. I don't care. Exactly. I don't care! I think it solved itself. Oh. And you don't ever walk up oh my stairs! Get inside. Do not I'm gonna treat you like a four-year-old and start counting if you don't go in there. I have a lot building. Rough me out, you. Jesus Christ. Lot building. Let's just go inside. I'm telling you, right, don't ever, you do not ever come in my building. Shut again. up. The officers know the woman is just extremely drunk and confused, and staying on her property is just making things worse. So they decide to just leave and hope she manages to settle down. But before they do, they see her leave her apartment and start attacking one of her tenants. I'm going to jail. I think something bad. Yeah, you're going to jail. We give you a lot of expenses. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After her arrest, the woman was taken to the police station for further processing, where she continues to be loud, angry, and awkward as ever. Listen, my name is Stinson. My name is Stinson. Call my family. Look at the camera. No, take my now. Are you going to be able to get through this? No. Because oh. he is... Are you going to be able to get through this problem? He, Why he, he okay, listen, listen he to me. He did wrong. Are you listening? I didn't do anything wrong. He did this. He Would you did like to have no! No! It took a while, but the woman was eventually processed and charged with disorderly conduct. She was allowed to sleep off the alcohol in jail and sent back on her way. But somehow, this woman doesn't even come close to the level of anger and violence that the girl in our next case does. Get the f off! Get off! On February 25th, 2022, cops received a call about a possible drunk driver outside a bar. When they arrived, they found something they never expected. The driver of the vehicle was asleep with the engine on and his foot on the gas pedal. Had the car not been in park, he'd have been speeding straight ahead into traffic. So the cops knew they were going to have to wake the driver up and figure out what's going on. 
Take your foot off the gas. Why don't you go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, all right? How much have you had to drink tonight? 53 to 38. Your eyes are up from the Tired, dude. You're passed out with your foot on the pedal. And the gas, the accelerator. Do you realize what could have happened here, all right? Smoked any weed today? Yes, sir. Yeah? Uh, earlier, yeah. Yeah, when was the last time? Earlier, uh, it smells like it in the car. The man admits to have been drinking and smoking tonight, and judging by his slurred speech and condition when they found him, it's clear he was definitely too impaired to be driving. So he decides to skip the sobriety tests and gets put straight in cuffs. I'm sorry, that was, was bad. That was that was, shouldn't have happened. You understand, sir? If you weren't in park, your car would have been going across the street into traffic. 100%. You're probably not going to do. I can't make that promise. If you could find a ride, you won't go I to jail. I can get a ride, I promise. I please call my mom. Hold on one second, sir. In there, dude. I'm so sorry. Now, this should be where the story ends, but it turns out the man's girlfriend was still inside the bar, and when she saw the cops searching her car, she was not happy whatsoever. Oh my god, what the f is going on? That's my f car. Okay, well, here, I'll. What the f are you doing? You need to calm down. No, you need to get the f out of my car. Under arrest. You want to be for what? Then talk. You gotta record this right now. What the f what? Hey, hey, right now. I didn't literally nothing wrong. No. What the? F Why are they searching my car? Because your boyfriend was passed out in the car. He was in the driver's seat. For what? Drunk driving. It's obvious his girlfriend isn't exactly sober either. And the more the cops try to calm her down, the angrier she seems to get. What are you talking about? Why are you in my? Because he was in the car, his operating car, and he's now under arrest for Hell! Hell! Where's the f***ing, where's the security footage? Run it! Are you f***ing shitting me right now? You searched my, that's my f***ing car! You didn't have my permission! You, are you wanting to take your marijuana? For my the marijuana? Yeah. Because there's, that's, there's You arrested him! Yeah, there's marijuana in the car. Go ahead, slap me with the ticket because it's decriminalized is in the state your, of Ohio. Is it, it is decriminalized in the state of Ohio. That's my mother SUV. You don't have my permission to search any goddamn more. I don't need your permission. Go ahead. Your car and no, you're, you're not going to search my mother you car. You to raise your voice or you're going to be placed For what? Car. For what? Your right. investigation for what? That's my car. You do not have my get a search warrant. That is my Car, you do not have my permission. The cops obviously are correct here, and they are allowed to search the vehicle. As the man admitted to smoking marijuana, and the cops smelled it inside the vehicle, they have reasonable suspicion to believe that either the man or the owner of the vehicle were breaking the law. This gives them the authority to search the vehicle and confiscate the drugs without a search warrant. However, the girl just doesn't seem to understand this and continues shouting and arguing with the cops for a further three minutes before they decide to put her under arrest but they could never expect what she would do next. I literally don't have none on me. Okay. I literally don't have none on me. It what? doesn't matter. Nothing, you're, literally you're nothing safety, is on you're me. You're not walking behind Nothing me. is on okay. me right now. I want to walk right. behind you because you're not going to play shit on okay. my goddamn boyfriend. He's a fella. Put your hand behind your back. For what? Obstruction of official business. Go ahead, because I have money, baby. We're going to okay. sue the state of Claremont County. But tonight, you won't be. I'm not just the rest. Stop. I literally did nothing. You have no... Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back, ma'am. Get the stop. Get off right now. Oh, so I need five men. Everybody's close. Get the. I mean, why mother? Yeah, I. Why mother? Can arrest me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Get the. I got. I got her. Go ahead. Get the. Me. If you kick again, you're gonna get hobbled. I literally didn't. Are you? Are, get in the car. Where's your mark? Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Put the seatbelt on. Thank you. Please. Safety is very important. After aggressively resisting the officers and even kicking one of them in the head, she's finally placed in the back of a patrol vehicle and taken to the station. In search of the vehicle, multiple pill bottles and large bags of marijuana were also recovered. The girl was hit with charges of obstructing official business, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. It's unclear what the man's charges were, but he was allowed to return to his apartment after the events of that night. But none of these Karens were quite as entitled and insane as this one. I want the manager of the airport here, yeah. and I want it now! On the 25th of May 2021, police were called to a public disturbance at an airport. They had no idea what to expect, but they didn't think it'd be this bad. 
did nothing. Ma'am, what happened? This guy chokeholding me. Ma'am. What the f is wrong with him? Calm down. Keep it down. Okay? No, you need to talk to him. He chokeholded me. Down. They saw it. My God, what is Damn. wrong with America? Calm down. Calm down. No, so that guy needs to be arrested. Come on, let's go over here. You saw it. You saw it. Ma'am. You saw it. He chokeholded me. Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Officer Alton. He threw me to the ground. What's your name? My name is Terry M. Blue. We'll come over here and we'll talk, okay? As you'd expect, none of the other passengers saw anyone chokehold Terry, but they did see her drunkenly rush to her gate and push past other passengers to get to the front of the queue. A passenger stopped her from pushing past and forced her back in line. This caused her to start yelling and claiming that she was assaulted. As you can tell from this next clip, her actions didn't make her very popular with the other passengers. <laughs> Let's go over here, ma'am. I'm a woman over here. in a dress! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am, let's go over here, okay? Boo-hoo! You no, fuck no, off! No, no. I want the manager of the airport here! Ma no! Ma'am. No! Calm down. I want the manager here! Okay, we'll get the manager. I'm not gonna be treated like this! Ma'am. Ma I want an officer here! Ma'am, I am officer at I've been through hell trying to get through Terry continues to scream and plead for one of the other passengers to stand up for her and say they saw the attack, but to no avail. She spends the next five minutes repeating the same story and doesn't stop screaming at any point. So the cop decides instead to go and talk to the man that she's claiming attacked her. But the interaction didn't go the way the cop expected. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you was it you? Yes. Can you come out? She's not going to bother. You can come out, too. How are you? So what happened? She was bit. making a ruckus over there in front of the thing. She came up behind us to get in the boarding line, mm -hmm. and it wasn't her group, I guess. She tried to bust through? Yeah. She came over and shut the door to us to go in. The door was halfway shut, and she came rushing through the door. She said that you grabbed her neck? Sorry. I'm pretty sure. So you have an idea or anything? Absolutely, yeah. The man explained his side of the story politely, stayed calm, and complied with the officer. A direct contrast to how Terry is still acting. Terry, calm down and breathe. <laughs> no! Let's go have a seat. No! Terry. This guy chokeholded me! Look at the cameras! Okay. He threw me to the ground and chokeholded me! Okay. Another passenger! Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you know what he Because that on? woman at the reservation just sent him on me! Uh, you wanna come have a seat so I can help you out? Please help me. I'm here to help you, okay? Let's get you sit down so you can catch your breath. You want some water? You wanna go to the water fountain with me? That's the water fountain over here, okay? Do you wanna get some water? Sure. Yeah, everybody, thank you for sticking up for me! Okay. She's temperamental, but she's slowly calming down. However, she's still lashing out at the passengers for not immediately rushing to her aid. Thank you for helping me! That's her stuff. Okay, thank you. assholes! Some America! They all saw it! They all saw it! Okay, He's still there in the door! The guy that chokeholded me! There, okay. Here, get some water. Yeah, don't care about my shit. I don't care. I just want to go home. Oh my God, I'm never flying again. I can't stand America. I'm moving to Spain. Did you have anything to drink today, Terry? Yes, I did. Is that against the law? No, it's not. How much did you have to drink today? I had a couple of margaritas. A couple of margaritas. You can go talk to the bartender. Okay. I had a very fine time with those people until okay. I got here. Terry is right, it's not illegal to have a few drinks, but it's almost certainly contributing to her outburst. At this point, it's been almost 15 minutes and she's still yet to calm down. In fact, she seems to only be getting worse. You go talk to him sure. until that guy truck holding me. Sure. No, you haven't even gotten him off the plane to talk to him. Sure. No! Relax. You need to investigate. Relax. I'm, sure. Relax. I'm a retired officer. Okay. I don't know. I don't have to. Who are you a police officer with? NYPD, is that good enough? 
No, that's, that's good. Thank you for your service, Terry. No, I don't need to explain why that guy choke holding me when he's a passenger. Okay. And nobody here stood Terry. up for me. Nobody Terry. fucking took a report, nothing. Terry, calm down. It's all on camera. Terry. Everybody saw it. Terry. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was choke holding by a passenger. Terry. Shame on all of you. Terry, calm down. I don't give a fuck. That's why America is fucking going to the dogs. Because nobody will stand up for anyone. Terry. You fucking piece of shit. Terry. Put your other arm behind your back. Arm, Terry. I'm not. No. Oh, I'm being arrested for being chokehold. Please, worry. someone film this. Please. You want to lock it? I God got... damn it. Please, someone. All of the attempts to calm Terry down failed, so the cops were left with no choice but to put her in cuffs and take her away. But even this didn't stop her from screaming and being violent against the officers. Stop! And if you calm down, it won't hurt anymore. Oh, you fucking asshole. Put my legs down! Put my legs down! Keep kicking me. Please! Somebody film this! Terry! God damn it, leave me alone! Fucking two faced! Get away from me! She told me she would help me. She's a fucking two faced! I just got you kicking, I was my, kicking my butt on camera, so yeah. I don't care! I've never been in jail in my life! Terry was then taken out of the wheelchair and cops attempted to put her in the back of the patrol vehicle. But who would have guessed? This just made her more violent. I told you to talk to the bartender! Please help me! Help me! Let go of the cuffs! We're not taking the cuffs off. I'm not fucking doing anything unless you let go Damn, of these fuck. You break my arm. I'm not trying to break your arm, but you are, you are state of resistance. No, I'm not! I'm a mother! Don't do this to me! Step up, man. God ma damn you! Ma'am, ma'am, ma step, step up! Step up! No! Step in the vehicle! You fucking asshole! Let me alone! Let me alone! Terry! Let me You motherfuckers! Take these cuffs off of me! I'll go quietly! You take these fucking goddamn cuffs off of me! not taking the cuffs? No! After literally five minutes of effort, the cops were finally able to get Terry in the back of a police car, where she continued to scream for the entire ride back to the jail. After the presumably long journey for the cops, Terry was charged with public intoxication, resisting arrest, possession of marijuana, and possession of a dangerous drug. It seems that alcohol-fueled rage and Karens often go hand in hand, as this next one not only displayed entitlement and physical violence, but also resorted to racism. This officer was called to a bar on the night of August 11th, where there was an intoxicated woman allegedly attacking multiple people and causing a serious disturbance. The woman was quickly identified as Christina Cabot, the wife of the previous mayor of the town, and someone who has clearly overstayed her welcome at the bar. Okay, come on, Kevin. Okay. 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 We all do, yeah. And you all do, yeah. Like, uh, just, yeah, maybe take her and take her to the next city over. <laughs> I've been but doing she's, a lot she's of times. been touching people, pushing people. Okay. Yeah. She, I mean, no, you, you, know, you, know, you want to know what I mean? No, seriously. Okay, so I'm supposed to be a girl. Yep. Other patrons of this bar detail exactly what Christina has been doing to cause the disturbance, and it's clear she hasn't made herself popular. This is also the second time today that police have been called to remove her from a bar. She's been intoxicated nearly the entire day, so the police decide it's time to have a chat with her and get her back to the station. Who's this guy? Who's the murderer? Murderer? Yeah. You know what happened to me. If I be honest. What happened to you? If I be quite honest with you. Yeah. Okay. You know what happened to me. I'm Tim yeah, but no, okay. this, this uh, is different. I, I don't know what happened. But you, where have you been? Like, what, like just now or like my whole life? Did you just get here? No, I was talking to other people. No, you just got into a process here? Like no, I, I, we had dinner are, together over at Turbo like six years ago. And you're going to pretend like you don't know what happened to me? I know who you are. I don't know what happened to you. This town is going to shut Tim and I down everywhere we go because of what happened to me. Because like the it, police though? department said that I did something yeah, wrong. Because you asked for an audience, so you must enjoy it. White fucking motherfuckers figuring that I did something wrong. Okay. 
Even though the police department dropped all the charges. Even though the police department continued to investigate me when they had no right. So what does it have to do with tonight's Nothing. I don't even know who called the police department. Uh, a few people you should there. go ask them. So they've already told me. They what said they that you were pushing people and touching people and trying to push people off their stools and acting disorderly. Christina lets the cops know that she believes the city of La Crosse, where they are, is out to get her and her husband. Evidently, the police have investigated her in the past and dropped the case, but obviously there's something bigger at play here, or at least that's what she's trying to insinuate. In reality, Christina is extremely intoxicated and looking for any reason to blame someone else for the ruckus she's been causing and a way to get out of this situation. This is video here. Let's go talk to him. No, no, we're not. Hey, tell him what you think about me. I didn't talk to you once. But I pushed you off your bar stool, right? I, you never know. I never said that. I knew I'm at the end of the company. Sure, I, I think we lost you. The police are told that Christina was politely asked to leave the bar multiple times, to which she violently refused, becoming both verbally and physically abusive, starting fights with anyone she could get her hands on. At one point, she even sat down in the middle of the bar and began kicking and screaming like a child. It was at this point the police were called to the scene. She needs to go. I don't care where she goes. I don't care where the f she goes, but she needs to go. No, we're not going to go inside, ma'am. Christian, you know my name. You go in there. Oh, you're just gonna accept that? We're gonna be able to treat me like this as long as I'm here. Treat you like what? This? How are we treating? You're here. I did nothing wrong because they called the police up because they're white. What was the other call? Same thing. The guy that I talked to called him away from me. Yeah, I'd just like to put in a good word for uh, oh, that lady right there. She's, okay. she's an okay lady. She's okay? Yeah, she's an okay lady. Okay. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. I just want to put in a good word for her. But. Whoa! Oh, yeah. What the fuck was that? I do this shit. Why are you pushing me? And I need window whip. Well taken. You did see that, right? This guy came over to put in a good word for her after talking with Christina in the background, and then she immediately walked over to pay him directly in front of the cops. Actually, I don't feel safe in this city anymore. Not a hand. Yeah. What's more is, yeah. if something happens to me tonight... Yeah. This is my job, bro. That's what I... You know that. Yeah, no. That's what I got. You're good. Bro, you saw this right called you a I do this yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Ma'am, is it okay if we talk over here for a second? Uh -huh. I do this shit for real, for real. You come over here and talk to me. And my name is Christina, and you know me. I'm just, I'm just calling Don't you call ma'am. Ma Why? Thank you. Christina, I okay, Christina you know is it okay if we talk over here, Christina? No, I, I don't know what you want to talk to me about, okay. but I'm pretty sure you can do it right here. No one so, cares. unfortunately, you do have to go to jail tonight, okay? Wait, let me put... Do you think I deserve to be arrested right now? What's the police charge? I don't know. What am I being charged with? You've been arrested for disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct? You've been detained. Due to everything that's gone on so far, the cops decide to put her in cuffs and take her to jail for the night. Frankly, it's impressive that even while restrained, she still managed to make enemies. On the way back to the car, she refused to cooperate and made her legs weak, forcing the cops to drag her. And even that wasn't the most annoying thing she did on this walk. I need you to put that wallet yep. in my yep. purse. I'm going to carry it all the way over there. Okay, just like no, this. No, I want you to put it in my purse. Well, let's let's go and then we'll we'll make it happen. Okay, thank you. I'm not going anywhere. There we go. You just need to walk. Yeah. Next find problems. Is there a reason why you're doing this, Christina? Yeah. Oh! Please. 
Christy, can you please sit in there? No. We're, we're trying to be decent. No, I please. can't. You're not being decent. Please. You've been here please for don't me off Tim. I do know Tim. You guys can't believe but that. That doesn't have anything to do with your Yeah, it does. I didn't do anything. You want your No, I can't. For you? Okay, ma'am. After acting like this all night, you'd think it'd be time for her to drop the act back at the station. But she thinks differently, choosing to make the entire team's lives as hard as physically possible. The Christy Cabot, she's not real cooperative. She wants to sit in the, she's not resistive, she just wants to sit in the squad car, so we have to force her in there, so. She's right here? Yeah. Christy, right? Yeah. Christy, can I help you sit up here? Christy. Oh, okay. You're all right. Chris, you get your bonus people too, Tommy? Oh, 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 oh. Here, yeah. I got the wheelchair behind you guys. Where's Christy? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You guys are really hurting me. What are you doing? God, I must be so violent. Can I please? Whatever this is, it hurts. I'm going to go back. You can let go. And also, this hurts. The cops finally managed to get Christina into a wheelchair so they can properly bring her into the station, kicking and screaming all the way there. She was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest, as well as firmly placing herself on the bad side of pretty much every cop and civilian in the entire town. Christina showed exactly how awkward Karens can make situations like this, but this Karen is perhaps the worst of them all as she was arrested for going on a racist rant at a group of Muslims. She had just been detained by police in Walgreens and had her plan to make the officers' lives as awkward as possible. But this cop is here to immediately shut her down. Ma'am, no weapons on you or anything like that? No, here. No, no, that's okay. Stand up for me, please. No. I'll just make sure you have no weapons on you. Like, look, I don't even have I don't pockets. know. Turn around. I don't want to. Don't give a pocket. battery. I didn't do any battery. No, when you spit on people, that's I battery. No, I did not. Listen, he verbally abused uh, me. Well, that doesn't give you the right to spit on him. Guess what? You verbally abused me as soon as I got here. Did I spit on you? No. You're in arrest for battery. No, nope, yep, purse? definitely doing that. that. Yeah, they're handcuffs. They're not for comfort. Can Let's I go. take my purse? Absolutely. Come oh, on. Oh, please go. don't. No, oh, don't no, you're definitely going to jail. Let's go. Walk. Mm -hmm. Can I leave my car here? Uh, that's absolutely fine, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. Officer, officer, this is unbelievable. Let's go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, I'll get a good attorney. God bless you. Yep, God bless me, God, because I'm a Christian. Uh, Christians don't talk like you. This cop managed to get her in cuffs and out the door in record time. But he still has to get her into the patrol vehicle and back to jail, and this Karen isn't going down easy. Confirm please, for please me don't or. Do this. Please. I didn't do anything. How about you just stand there and stop talking? How about we do that? <laughs> How about we do that? That doesn't give you an excuse to act the way that you're acting. No, just stop talking. You have to leave. We'll take care of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. You guys have to go. This officer saw me last night. I've been having a lot happening in my life. Really? That's going to happen? I'm sorry. 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 i Oh, that hurts. You're hurting my hands. Well, they're handcuffs. Uh, they're not for comfort. Well, I've never had handcuffs. So that's a no. Okay, so Except those those was, same Muslims uh, that you were talking shit to just decided your fate and they elected to not thank prosecute. You. God bless you. Yeah, God bless them. Because yeah. if it was up to me, you'd be going to jail. Come on, officer, please. But that's they decided as the victim that you were not going to jail. Oh. I suggest you watch your mouth because well, the particular... Shut up. Listen. The particular that. group that you decide to mouth off to... We're professional or nice. Some people might kick you in your face and they're gonna come pick up the pieces. 
so I suggest you watch your mouth. In an act of extreme kindness, the group of Muslims she spat at and was racist towards decided not to press charges and asked the police to let her go. But somehow, even that isn't enough to stop this woman from running her mouth. My father was with the army. He was a captain in the army. Did anybody get her 14? Look at look what you did to my aunt. You should yeah. be going to jail. Huh? Oh, can you get me my purse, please? Hey, you got, hey, you got, a, you got a 14? I I'm getting, no, I thought, I, I thought he was holding it. Get your stuff and leave. No, what do I do with this? Grab what do you do with what? No, that purse. That's unfortunate. Well, I've never had this happen to me Then keep before. your mouth shut and you won't have it happen again. Don't talk to me. Literally, keep your mouth shut because you spit on somebody. Listen, you, you don't know what he did to me You don't before. have the right to ask me how to talk to you when you're disrespecting people. He disrespected me first. Literally wow. spitting on people. Gather your belongings, count your blessings, and leave. Listen, I'm a Bye. Christian. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need to look and that I, up. And I go to Calvary Chapel. You need to... Right. That's concerning. That's, yeah. Yeah, very concerning. Yeah, we'll talk to Pastor Doug. I, I will, actually. Right. I will talk to Pastor Doug and let her know how you Come feel about... Sunday. Different Come Sunday for church. Okay, for sure. Okay? Yeah. 11 a.m. All right. Good night. Good night. Thank you, officer. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, officer. You're yeah. respectful. You're respectful. They all are, man. Sure. Yeah. Uh, thank God for President Trump. <laughs> this woman was incredibly fortunate to be led away with no charges, unlike this young Karen who couldn't keep her mouth shut and faced all the consequences she deserved. I got out of a DUI and got let off with a warning. <laughs> Skyler was pulled over after an officer saw her weaving around the road in a way that suggested she might not have been completely sober. But according to her video, she claims that using her flirtatious and quick wits, she managed to trick the officer and get away with a warning. I blew a 3.8 and he let me off with a f***ing warning and gave me his number and said we should meet for coffee or lunch. He was hot, so I'm getting lunch with him tomorrow. If her story is true, then the officer would be in serious trouble. But luckily, the officer in question recorded the entire interaction on his body cam, and the video tells a completely different story. Hello. Hi. My name's Deputy Stallman, I'm the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. I pulled you over because you were weaving a little bit back there. Where are you coming from? Um, I was coming from my friend's house. I actually just got dumped. Okay. So I was like crying and like, I'm really upset. Okay. Were you, were you on your phone and stuff too? I was trying to call him to get a hold of him because my heart hurts Okay. So bad. Well, I'm just concerned that you were weaving because of alcohol, but if you're on your phone, have you been drinking or anything tonight? No? Okay. The deputy then does give Skylar a card with the sheriff department's information on it, but it didn't include his personal number and it didn't come with an invitation to dinner. Sounds like you're having a rough night, so I'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything, okay? So I'm just going to give you a warning. It's not a big deal. I just want to make sure you're okay. You were weaving a little bit, and I just want to make sure you're okay to operate the motor vehicle, and I believe you are. Um, so my information's right here on the front. The reason I stopped you here is on the back. Wherever you're headed, uh, get there safely, and I'm sorry you're having a bad night. Yeah, I'm just right down the street. I'm okay. Sorry. No, you're, you're fine. Yeah, well, no, you don't need to apologize. I mean, you were weaving a little bit with no traffic out. I just want to make sure you're okay, that's all. Skyler's video doesn't just contain disgusting footage of her laughing and bragging about exploiting this officer's kindness, but also states that she blew a 3.8 on the breathalyzer, ignoring that she wasn't even tested in the first place. The legal limit is only around 0.8 and already makes driving dangerous. But a reading of 3.8 would imply Skyler was not only blackout drunk, but close to death, as at a level of 4.0, respiratory failure is likely. But this doesn't mean Skylar was lying about being drunk underage. Videos were later discovered of her chugging tequila from the bottle and acting drunk at a party just hours before she was caught driving. After she was confronted with this, Skylar confessed and admitted to everything. I ended up getting a little too intoxicated. Um, I was taking shots all night and I decided to make the dumb decision to get into my car and drive. She also admitted that the officer never asked her out. That was just a lie for social media attention. Regardless of her confession though, no further action was taken against her or the officer who failed to test her. Unlike this next Karen who didn't get off nearly as easily. This suspect's public outburst takes place on a plane ready for takeoff. Prior to the footage, she's been asked to leave multiple times due to her refusal to wear a mask during the pandemic. Hello. We're, we're gonna 
took you off the aircraft. Yep, <laughs> you're gonna have to get off the aircraft. Yeah, okay? and you're out there, yep. and I compliment you in that way. She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're gonna have to get Actually, off the aircraft. They made us wait and wait and wait. Yeah, that's the way it is. But mm -hmm. right now, I'm and that's you... fine, and I will respect that. Okay. So I'm gonna need you to grab your bag and just. And I did not do aircraft. anything actually. Just we'll talk about Disrupt it outside. Disruptive, besides speak my mind. Okay. I know when I live in America, and that's what fucking America's right. about. Calm down. No, you know Listen that. To me. Grab no, your bag. You know that. When she's asked to grab her bag and leave, she says something truly weird. The suspect has a lot of strange mannerisms and seems to have very severe mood swings. Pay attention to how her expression suddenly changes and how she seems to rapidly experience a wide range of emotions throughout the encounter. No one's gonna put you, their hands on you. All right, yeah, yeah, you Grab won't. Yeah, yeah, you here. won't. Okay, but I need you to get up. Yeah. Okay. You need me to get up? You may need me to get up, but you know what I feel my need to do as a person? Just like Jesus motherfucking Christ. You need to call No, out. no, I'm gonna do call what I need to do. I'm gonna say what I need to do. And if you, you're gonna do whatever you feel you need okay. to do to me, right? So I'm gonna say what I am meant to right, say. Right. No, to everybody. Stand up, man. Yeah, everybody is you're doing this. You're gonna get arrested if you do not I'm stop. I'm already gonna get arrested. The police warn the suspects that if she doesn't cooperate, they'll have to put their hands on her. Her response is dramatic. She also latches onto a supposed promise one of the officers made, that she wouldn't be arrested if she gets off the plane. Here's what's happening. They're going to deplane the aircraft. I'm going to take you off the that plane. That was already happening. Don't and you're going to jail. It, it won't happen okay. if you get up and walk out with me right now. Yeah. But if you're not going to, trust yeah. that. That's how it's going to work. Do you see how that's a threatening system? That's the way it that's is, man. That's not cool. Are I want to trust you. You want to trust me? That's not healing. We're not healing. The suspect is led from the plane and placed under arrest. Her reaction is childlike. She cries in an unconvincing way and seems to feel that the experience has violated her human rights. Listen to her describe her actions. The way she seems to think she acted is far from the truth, but it's hard to say whether she's deliberately lying or there's something more to it. Okay. Come with me. Come with me. The suspect continuously switches between claims of being victimized and anger towards the cops. She seems to feel that she's been personally wronged and that one of the cops lied to her to get her to comply. She accuses this cop of not wearing a mask himself. How is anyone gonna stop anything when you lie to them? You had your chance, ma'am. I had my chance. You didn't you, even give I me a chance. You, I looked at you in your eyes you and I knew you were lying to me. I saw you outside before I even came in. Once again, we see a case where the person being arrested decides to single out a particular officer to blame for everything. The suspect refuses to cooperate with a particular cop, but says they're willing to comply with other members of law enforcement. All right, I, hey, you I step up. Are you going to comply you, with no, everybody? No, with you two, yes. Not with you, because you're a liar. Okay. Towards the end of the arrest, she repeatedly says things that seem to come out of nowhere, including the suggestion that a nurse there to check on her is attracted to the officer she has an issue with. Here, let me get your temperature at least. Oh, you think he's cute? Oh, yeah, I thought he was cute, too. I looked in his eyeballs, and I thought he looked into my eyeballs, and then he abused that. Her unpredictable mood and irrational reactions continue right up until the video ends, with her saying that the fact that she can't relax is the fault of law enforcement. Seems likely that there are some psychiatric issues at play here, though. Without a professional opinion, it's hard to say for sure.